Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom and today I'm taking a look at Tower Square Mall, which is a little known mall hidden in the heart of downtown Springfield, Massachusetts. Tower Square, or Bay State West Mall as it was originally known, was built in 1970. It was renamed Tower Square in 1996. This is definitely one of the more unusual malls I've ever been to. In fact, nowadays I'm not even sure if it still qualifies as a mall. When it first opened in 1970, it definitely was a mall, and it had all the normal mall stores you would expect. But today, as you'll see, most of the stores have left. Those that have remained are like boutique type stores. There are some restaurants, a jewelry store, and some stores that almost look like museums. This mall also has some very strange hours. It's actually not open on the weekend, which is the only mall I can think of that's not opened on the weekends. And I think the reason for that is this mall is generally used just by the people that work in the area and some of the people that live in the area. I don't think you would come from out of town to go to this mall unless you're like me and you're just, you know, you're filming a dead mall video. But there really wouldn't be any reason for me to come out to this mall otherwise because it's in driving distance of the Enfield Square Mall, you know, whatever's left of that at this point, um, Eastfield Mall, which is about to go out of business, and especially the Holyoke Mall. That totally removes any reason to come to this mall. So that's why I would say the vast majority of the people that are here are local or they're actually working in one of these buildings. Or possibly they're staying at the Marriott Hotel, which is attached to this mall. As I think you can see, this is a very small mall. We just entered a few seconds ago and we're already at the center of the mall. Uh, from what I've read, it's about 180,000 to 200,000 square feet, which is very small. I'm not sure what used to be in here. It does say fresh market on the wall, so I'm guessing it was probably a grocery store, but I don't know. No, just browsing. I guess we looked out of place because that was an employee of Dunkin' Donuts asking us if we got lost. So I'm guessing they don't have too many uh, people wandering around this mall like we were. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. Thanks. This hallway here leads to the office tower. Here's a photo that was taken back around 1970 when the mall first opened. And as you can see in the center there, they used to have a giant metal cube hanging from the ceiling. They also had a globe spray jet fountain right in that same area. And you can also yeah. see in this photo here that most of the surfaces in this area used to be covered in mirrors.
It does feel weird. It's very clearly a, a mold, an old mall. Really good. Yeah. I think this wraps around maybe. Here's one of the stores that I was saying kind of looked like a museum. And we'll actually take a little bit closer look at that on the way back. There are currently two sky bridges in this mall. As far as I know, they just go to the office buildings at this point. But back when the mall first opened, they used to go to other department stores. One of them went to Forbes and Wallace, and the other one went to Steiger's. I'm not sure which one went to which. But from what I understand, when Forbes and Wallace went out of business in 1974, 1975, that time period, they tore down the entire building as well as at least part of the sky bridge that connected them. So I think this sky bridge is new. I don't think this is the same one that was here back in the 70s, but I could be wrong. There's the car. Yep. Here's what this view would have looked like sometime back in the 70s or 80s. And you can see in some of those photos that there used to be an escalator in the center area. I'm thinking it would have been right about here, but it's a little bit difficult to tell from the photos.
This is the food court, and from what I've read, it's only open between about 11 a.m. and 2 p.m., roughly. And that's because that's really the only time enough people come in here to justify keeping it open, as far as I can tell. This was filmed at about 10.30, so you can see the vendor at the end here. Looks like a Greek restaurant was just starting to open up, and there was one guy waiting for food. But all the other places were closed, and there was only one person actually sitting in the cafeteria. So again, if you've been here before, let me know how busy does this get during its peak. I think if I worked in one of the office buildings around here, I would probably try to have lunch here as much as possible, just for this view. And there you have it, that's Tower Square, formerly Bay State West Mall in Springfield, Massachusetts. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit the notification bell. I do plan to have a lot more mall videos coming up, as well as flea market videos and possibly other types of videos as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.